Hey guys, welcome to a new video. And today we have another Quinbox em Quin Quin emergency. Actually, it's a dual emergency because I can't find my box cutters. So we'll have to use the, the dangerous tool to open the box of today. And the box of today is a ZK, ZK E-Tech uh, EBC A40L and I totally didn't just read that off the screen. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit big. I'll, I'll show you in the, in the little preview here. Uh, so let's uh, get it out of the box because, well, I need it. Uh, I want to use it. So uh, this has a lot of tape on it. Let's, let's do it from this side. Okay. These, these, they really spare no expense in packing this kind of stuff. That's good. I mean, it has to travel pretty far. And, uh, the shipping companies can ding up your packages a lot. So, okay. Wait. Hmm? Uh, well, if it's in there, it's, it's, it's I don't know, man. Okay, that's just packaging material. What? Um, it's an empty box. Well, it came very nicely packaged at least. They used, uh, let's see what the, well, this is a joke. I of course already unpacked it. <laughs> It came very well packaged. It came with all this foam and then these little uh, air bags and things like that. And I kind of just wanted to show you how well it was packaged. Because it arrived uh, completely unscathed. But as I said, it's no longer in the box. Because, well, where's my mouse? Because, well, I wanted to use it. So I guess emergency two, that we don't have the tool right now, it's not that big of a deal because I have already unboxed it. So what is the A40L? It is a, a load and a, um, a charger and a load, I guess you could say, or should say. So it's meant for charging cells or lithium cells. So it can go up to, I think four, four and a half volts or something like that. But we're going to use it for LIFEPO4 cells. So we only need it to do like 3.6, five ish volt and it can charge and discharge the battery with 40 amps so if you want to diagnose your battery or your battery cell if it's still okay or not it can charge up the battery and it can do so with constant current or constant voltage and it can discharge the battery and again it can do so in multiple ways and generate some nice graphs now, as I mentioned, uh, it came very well packaged and all accessories you need are included. And that includes the power cable and the cables that go into the terminals on the front uh, for uh, positive and negative. And well, uh, last thing, it also includes the uh, USB cable for your PC. But let's, let's take you along and let's have a look at it. Right, so that's the device on AliExpress. As you can see, it costs about 153 euros for the 220 volt, I guess the 110, 110 is about the same. So yeah, it's not very cheap, but it's also not super expensive either. But uh, as I mentioned, um, if it's going to track my face, maybe, <laughs> let's have a quick look at it. Because, well, as you can see, I've unboxed it already. And the reason for that is because I have a giant pile of boxes here which will have battery cells in them. So they come in these boxes and well they're very well packed and they come with two a box. But this isn't the battery video. This is the battery tester video. We'll do a separate video about the battery in the future or the cells in the future with, with which we're going to build the battery. So here's the device. Uh, it is a 40 amp charger and discharger. Now that's interesting if you wish to test your batteries. 
because only charging them won't give you the full figure. You also need to be able to discharge them. Looking at the front of the device, let's make sure that's in focus. We have a nice little screen. It's currently off, but it is in PC mode. It did a constant voltage test and uh, it, it ended up with 289 amp hours. Well, that's pretty good because these are 280 amp hour cells, but uh, let's continue with the device. <laughs> So here we have a few buttons. I haven't actually used those in a few days. I've used the tester, but we have a positive and a negative output over here. And one of the things you'll notice is that each has two wires instead of just one. So it has a thick wire and a thin wire. Now, the thick wire is for the load. So all the load will run over those. And then the thin wire is to provide a separate measurement for the voltage. Because if you load the, the thick wire with 40 amps, and this charger and this charger is capable of charging 40, or charging and discharging 40 amps, if you load this cable with 40 amps, well, first it'll get hot. Uh, I'll show you some thermal uh, footage in a minute. And the reason it's getting hot is because of resistance, but that resistance will actually lower the voltage we measure over here. But we want to know the accurate voltage over here. So that's why it has a separate wire. It's called a four wire method or the four wiring measurement method. So that the voltage is always measured at the source and not, well, at the charger discharger itself, because that will sag when the cable is loaded with current. So that's a very good design. And, well, as we will see in a minute on the graph, th that works beautifully. I've charged and discharged a few cells already. That's been working great. I actually just noticed that on this one, I don't have the clamp on there perfectly, because you kind of want it on that bottom lower disc there, instead of floating at the top, more like this one. Uh, but looking further at the device, it comes with a, a big heatsink inside. Don't think you can see that. But looking at the back, it has a very big... Warning, high temperature sticker. I haven't felt it being high temperature, but sure. So there's a giant fan there. <laughs> and it does make a considerable amount of noise. That's why it's in my garage and not in my uh, workspace or something like that. It comes with an AC plug. Uh, I got the 220 volt version because I'm in the Netherlands. I measured the cable that came with it. It has continuity on uh, live, neutral and earth. So that's a good cable. It has a fuse over here pre-installed on the device so that's nice a big on and off button and then there's this little cable this little cable is the usb connection which goes up to one of my laptops over here and if we take a quick look at that laptop we'll see i made a little program here and let's see if i can get that in focus i think so and the program said okay first charge no discharge with constant current and then, oh, sorry, my program is over here. Discharge with constant current with 40 amps and stop when it's at 2.6 volts. Then wait five minutes and then charge with constant voltage again with 40 amps and stop when it's at 3.6 volts. Uh, or the current becomes lower than 10 amps. And if we look at the results here on top, we see that we got 290 amp hours or 928 watt hours during the charge and 289 during the uh, sorry during the discharge and 289 during the charge so well uh, as a first result for these cells that's pretty good because these are 280 amp hour cells now if you'd like me to do a little bit more in-depth guide on how to set up this software and how it kind of works uh, let me know down in the comments and i'll make a separate video about that but yeah if you're in the market for a charger or discharger for lithium ion or lithium phosphate or LIFEPO4 as we're using right here. Uh, this is an excellent device. And the way I'm going to use it, I'm going to use another power supply. Uh, when I'm going to be building the battery packs, we're going to be building a 16S. So that means there will be 16 of these cells in series. And while they're uh, 3.2 volt each, uh, once you put 16 in series, you basically have a 48 volt battery. Of course, the real voltage will be slightly higher. 
But the way we're going to build them is first we're going to put them in series. Then we're going to charge them with a different charger which can do a much higher voltage. It can charge the 48 volt pack to like 85 or 90 percent. And then we'll deconstruct that pack, put them in parallel, and then use this guy which can do, well, uh, let's say 3.6 volt, but then with 40 amp, but in, it, it's a much lower total amount of wattage than we can do in series with the other charger, because that's like, so this is like 100, 150 watt, and if you do it in series, I can do like 1200 watt. But to top balance the batteries, you want to put them all in series, and then, uh, sorry, all in parallel, and then top balance them all at like 3.6 volt, so that they all are at 3.6 volt. And then, while well, you deconstruct the pack again, and you make it a series pack, and uh, from that you build the actual battery, and that's how it remains, basically. But we'll be doing that in future videos. I just wanted to show you uh, this little, uh, you know, charger. Yes, it's a Chinese product. Uh, here's some inside shots I stole from AliExpress. But I've been running this thing non-stop for a few days now. And in my opinion, it works great. It doesn't really get hot. Uh, I believe lots of other people are also using this device. Now, that doesn't mean that much. I always like to do my own tests. But from my own tests, this has worked perfectly for me. And actually, this isn't the first time I've used Ziki E-Tech. Who of you watching has seen my phone review, phone charger reviews or phone cable reviews. In those, I actually have an A20H and a little USB version, also from ZK eTech, and I used to publish these same kind of graphs uh, for those tests. So I've been using ZK eTech for many years now, so I kind of already trusted the brand, and well, this one, again, doesn't disappoint. So yeah, that's it for this Queen Boxed emergency already. Uh, it was an emergency because I just wanted to use this thing, but I still wanted to show you guys. I hope you like it, and uh, well, let me know what you think down in the comments, and I hope to see you back for the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>